any painter that I know uh, wants to put in as much as they can. And anybody who's installing a show wants to put as little as they can. The landscape lends itself more than any other subject to a kind of abstraction. Deixa eu dizer que te amo Deixa eu pensar em você Isso me acalma, me acolhe a alma Isso me ajuda I never know exactly what I'm looking for So that there's always a sense of discovery and mystery It's not only the verisimilitude of the image But it's also something that there are psychological factors, other factors that enter into the making of anything. I usually put out the paint. I've been collecting them for years. And they're different brands. I love Michael Harding. His things are made in London. And um, my favorite paint of all, I suppose, is Old Holland. I've been using oil sticks, which are, everyone says, um, a revolution in paint materials. It's sort of between a crayon or a drawing instrument and a painting instrument, and it allows for um, painting directly without any preliminaries. Sometimes in the heat of battle, I'll take a tube and use it just as it comes out of the tube. Or sometimes I'll mix it for a long time to get just the tone that I want. I try to use color in a personal way, but also I think it comes out of my studies of Cezanne's color modulation. I'm not so much as building with the color, but using it as an all over um, plastic element in, in a pictorial design. Color has a language as any other element in paintings such as line and form. Color is a language too and though I've studied color theorists from Albers to Itten to Goethe, to others who've written about color, I rarely refer to that when I'm actually working, but more or less use it in my own personal way, which owes something to what I've been able to perceive of the, uh, of the way that Cezanne uses it uh, to make form, and sometimes, as in this particular painting that you're, we're looking at now, to let the color and the line and the structure and the form separate so that in this particular painting the line has a life of its own, the color has a life of its own, and hopefully it all comes together to make a pictorial structure. I'm always having a dialogue with the tradition of painting and it's a dialogue that is uh, sustaining and that's what sustains me and it's um, a dialogue that is very personal. Nobody would have the same dialogue as I have. Um, I always think of reality as being somewhat metaphoric. That is, a fallen tree uh, can be a metaphor for everything that falls and dies and is born again in nature. But to be too specific about that would be not my way of doing it. It has to be um, in the form itself and not in a uh, treatise about any particular message or ideas. And I would hope that the viewer would have their own message and their own ideas of rebirth or um, life or structure or change or any of the many elements that can go into making a painting. Uh, in this particular group of paintings, um, have been, if there are on, on many different things, but something about light, about reality and light. And certainly you see that in the sunsets, the paintings of sunsets, 
um, where the light goes down and suddenly the whole sky has all of the uh, wondrous elements of color flickering that, that are, it's almost hard to believe how nature for that brief moment between um, daylight and dark um, creates a storm of color. Now there, I think, in a way, I've thought of Turner and Goethe and other painters who've tried to catch that fleeting quality of light that is between the dark and the daylight. Hoje contei pras paredes coisas do meu coração. Passei no tempo, caminhei nas horas mais do que passo a paixão. É um espelho sem razão. Quer amor? I would like people to take away from my paintings a sense of the joy of making, the joy I have in making, a, a sense of being able to perceive a little bit more of the reality which is at a remove from all of us. We don't ever get the whole picture, but just a tiny bit of it. And hopefully, to, I would like people to um, uh, respond to a particular painting and hopefully to enter into it, to make it their own by perceiving some of the processes of its making.